With the recent news of an elderly man who went missing with dementia, it brought up some questions about people with dementia. What rights do people with dementia have and under what circumstances can you take away their driver's license and keys? Our Juliana Alford has more. Defining dementia can be an umbrella term for a set of symptoms that include cognitive decline. People with dementia will start to lose their memories. They can become confused and have difficulty speaking, reading, and writing. When it comes to rights about what people can and can't do. They have all the rights that every other American citizen has up and until the point that a judge says that they don't. And that's where those guardianship and conservatorship uh, lawsuits kind of come into place. There are nearly 10 million new cases of dementia every year. And currently, there are 6 million cases in the U.S. and more than 55 million cases worldwide. Although there is no cure for dementia, the first step is planning for the future. It really is about talking with your loved ones, creating a plan, and then also being able to understand that, you know, things do change, but being willing to be flexible in that. We want people, again, to meet people where they are. One of the best things that families can do, in, in my experience, is to plan for this ahead of time. Always being able to, you know, to have documents in place that say, if I'm incapacitated, this is the person I trust to make these decisions for me. According to Alzheimer's Association in South Dakota, by the year 2025, there will be about 20,000 people over the age of 65 with Alzheimer's. According to the CDC, Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of dementia. Reporting in Rapid City, I'm Juliana Alford.